Yo, what up? Welcome back, everybody. If you don't know, my name's Zev, and today we're going to be playing some City Skylines. This is a new video, but be sure to hang around for some of the video. You don't have to hang around for the whole video, but a lot of it will help me. Check out the entire series if you want more. I don't know if I'm going to do a lot of these, but let's get started. All right, so right now, I'm thinking of making a middle road to connect these two highway connections so to me this looks right about in the middle and i'm probably gonna make this small just to start out my little uh neighborhood community and then i'm gonna transition train transition over to gravel road and then once i got that gravel road I'm gonna bring probably about three blocks but i'm gonna count that as a block that line that's two i'm gonna say that's three and then eventually if the traffic gets bad i will upgrade those i'm gonna leave those two. until i buy this land i'm thinking about buying this land because it has the waterfront property and then I might buy, I don't know, we'll have to get to that later on down the road. Um, so right now all I need is residential. I'm thinking about putting them right by the water. Have that like good property value right off the bat. I'm not super, super sure. I might do like three blocks on that. I do want to have a, a divide where my industry is. I might make this road my divider from where my industry is. And have this be like a, a little bit of commercial and residential mixed in here. Alright, yeah, that sounds good. I might continue just a little bit more. I want to see how close I can get to the water. Probably connect these only like a couple times. Right there. I might turn the audio stuff down a little bit. Uh. All right, we got that. This is going to be commercial in here, and then down here is going to be more residential. It only looks crooked because there's a difference in elevation. Got that little like suburb set up. Uh, let's throw some houses down. I'm just gonna mark things that cool for now. Yeah. And we'll let that do that. We are gonna need power and water. So we're gonna put the first power plant right on the edge. And we'll hook that up once they start uh, producing actual houses for us. We're gonna start pumping here. We're gonna start dumping. I might 
just uh, industrial and commercial. Hopefully some of them zones will connect power and I don't gotta put a uh, power line. But I will have to put a power line from here to here or some something like that and from here to there. So yeah, this is going to be a little expensive, but it is necessary. Alright, yeah, eventually that should zone up and hook up the power and get our pumping and dumping going. We are currently at a zero population. We're losing money. Oh, we got $13,000 left. I'm not really worried about it. We're going to decrease all of these to save us a bit of money. And we're going to wait for people to move in. I'm going to increase the speed. Now our demand is going down from high to more medium. Getting some commercial in here. Still no population. See, he got power. Or well, um, <laughs> no. All right. Once these like touch, there will be power. These these boxes. And then these these gotta touch, but that that'll all be. Oh, I don't have a road actually touching the highway, that's why. Oops. That'd be a big reason why I do not have any population coming in. I'm gonna turn those into one way. One way for those. Like that. That should be good. We're gonna play and have more people start moving in. There we go. We got an achievement for that. Alright, we just hit our first milestone. Pretty much. People crying about water and power because they haven't zoned in enough to fill it in. Um, oh, that's why. It's not powered. Please. <laughs> I'm, I'm not like at their mercy, but pretty much at the game's mercy. Alright, well what is um kinda deciding what it wants to do. I can I turn the the zone off? I just wanna see my roads. Oh no, that's not that big. Industrial demand. We have a really low happiness. Um, probably because I still don't have water and power. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give them some. Not because I'm like selective, but just because. It's smarter than to try to fill it. So, and then, well, we're not. We're still not there. And I'm done. At least I'm not like in debt. I'm going to slap a wind turbine in the middle of your neighborhood. Always 
It's not like that bad. I could have prevented it. I just had too much zoning to fill up. And there goes the water issues, and our happiness should be skyrocketing. But now I need garbage, health care, and education. Uh, let's see, let's get that elementary school. We're gonna plan on expanding out this way, so we're probably gonna slap it right here. And we have enough eligible, or enough capacity for our eligible students. Uh, we got alright health. That's nothing uh, crazy. For now, we are going to put. Garbage, we're gonna have to wait until we get enough income. I'm gonna have to increase uh, electrical availability. Water is going to be We have enough zoning. Gaining people. I need an industry. That's what I need. city of Newdale will become one of the biggest and greatest cities of all. Alright, we got $4,000 now. I do want to increase this road. Probably just going to continue using gravel road. And because of the slope, there's only so much we can actually zone on. Might be able to delete these power lines.
are slowly growing. We almost have a population of a thousand. More industrial demand. I have not checked traffic. Traffic looking at you. Alright, we are going to complete the zoning now. I'll just leave it there. Because you do pay for zoning. Or at least in Sim City, you paid for zoning. If you zoned a whole bunch of stuff and they didn't fill it in, your economy would be fucked. Yeah, we have no garbage landfill stuff, so we are going to build an entirely separate road for that. Um, so this is going to be industrial sector. We're probably going to put that behind the power plant. if I have to, I'll upgrade that room. We just set policies on where we want any policies until fire becomes an issue and then I might set some protections as a part of it. I'm not really sure. We're going to 2.5 thousand a week. <laughs> I had to wait for it to go over. We're gonna look at the cinematic camera for a second. Stuff getting upgraded. New Dale is progressing from a small hamlet to a bigger city. I do got my graphic settings down, but that's to give you all that clean 60 FPS. We do have some commercial demand, but that might fill up on its own.
to yesterday, I was playing just to test to see if I could play and record. And I would have a blackout and then my pop, my water and sewage would be messed up and I wouldn't know which one it would be like the main problem. So what ended up happening was everybody died and I moved out and I started over on this one. Taxes. We're going to take a little hit of money, but that's going to supply the people with the good water and sewage treatment that they need and deserve. We're going to need more electrical availability here in a minute. Oh yeah, we do got fire and police now. I remember where my medical center is it's right here. So we can put the firehouse. Station opposite that. Once I get the money, it's 12,000. I'm not really raking in a whole lot of money like I was in the other game. But it's not like that big of a deal. Does somebody have power issues? Oh. We just got a shit ton of money for no reason. And I was like, oh. Are right, we gonna slap that one down there? Cause we don't need it. Yeah, that's looking better now. Are we gonna just chill out for a minute, let the demand do its thing? Cause I think we got enough zoning. We do got high school. Uh, we're gonna need this police station. We're already having crime issues.
track, it's doing all right. trying to figure out how I could like find out more about things because in SimCity 4 you used to be able to click your question mark and hover over your stuff and it'd tell you everything like I'm on we're about to zone in some of this industry right here get rid of some of this demand down here we got medium demand for industry, so hopefully that can fill that up. This is filling up already, and we got more demand for the zone that block. Now we do need to fix the water issue, which isn't really that big of an issue. only 200 high school kids and now we're just over capacity for that. There's going to be more moving in. Uh, we do have a jail. We have a firehouse. Hazard's a little high. We do have a medical clinic. Health is high. Elder care is alright. sick over there, cemetery, we only have two dead bodies, but we do need to get on this early. Could just put it right next door to the elder care facility. That way, when you get out the nursing home for old age, not like that's a thing, you just go right over here. Alright, we 
we had 30 minutes. I feel like the game is pretty loud. I don't know if I can turn that down a little bit. That's not a big deal. Get our industrial zoning tool. We're gonna zone just the top layer that we did. And I feel like this should be zoned properly. There we go, we fixed that. Residential demand. So far, we got quite a bit of money. We're still around the 2.5 thousand a week mark. Um, this, all right. No sick kids, it would just increase the birth rate. Crazy residential demand that I did not see until just now. about I wish the city had more parks so I'm gonna slap a park now wherever in the hell they live at where are you Robert Peters this is Robert Peters house you want a park I got a park I don't need to wipe out a whole bunch to keep this house. I might have to go. Y'all better be glad. <laughs> Alright. Go right there. Right there. Right there. Probably extend yeah. Alright, that's okay. Somebody's thanking me for the park I just put down. Residential demands at a medium because we're filling this up slowly. We're looking at a steady population of 3,000. Grape soda bust. I lost with that last time. That shit good. Right. 
somehow I missed that zone and I missed this zone and we're getting a little bit of industry so hopefully that fills in. Uh, a little bit of residential should be alright filling in itself. We can slowly watch it fill in. I have no idea what this means. I don't know if it's a compliment or a complaint. Because if you look at the crime rate, it's, it's not bad. Everything blue. You know what I'm saying? We're up at $40,000 with almost $4,000 a week now. We're looking pretty dang good. Looking like a little industrial boom about to happen, maybe. I could be wrong. Traffic. Traffic ain't doing bad, but if we look at the graph, the uh, graph doing high, we at 95, 94. I just want to put a tree line there and then I'm going to demolish like a whole row of skyscrapers just for a tree line down the way. But, we're looking pretty good. I might have to zone out some more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's look at the relative citizen happiness. got sewage problems, which is actually not sewage problems, it's power problems. This is the issue I'm going to last Let the power go up. Let the sewage go up. Alright, we might need some more sewage treatment. Space already occupied. What do you want me to do? Go all the way around? Bro. Alright, well, we did that. Looks like we didn't need to, I guess. We're not too worried about it. I'm just, I'm just worried about people moving out. Uh, we filled all that in, and people already filled it up. Completely, and we already have more residents than me. I'm sorry for y'all, few families. But I'm gonna have a down the road down the other way. So, this is basically the line I got going up. We're gonna buy this side, and basically, mirror it on that side.
keep like this little neighborhood thing going. Zone so, I wonder if that's yeah, that's power issues. Capacity 600, it's not the elementary school, it is the high school. Where's the elementary school? I think I must have left the high school right in this area right here. Oh, that was another little elementary school. Damn. I get a little bit of a refund out of it. Make sure I select the high school. There we go. Take a rezone around that. Everybody's happy. That's about in the middle of the whole like thing. This whole thing. Uh, I know I keep saying uh, I'm just trying to continually figure out what's wrong right in the city. traffic is still not a problem but it probably will become a problem within the next milestone or two same with the power not with the water yet um, everything else is looking all right could have a public library. We do have a fire. Let's see if firefighters can respond. No traffic blocks. Firefighters responded. No fire spread. Are right, yeah. Firefighting ain't an issue. Probably gonna throw the public library right over here by the uh, the high school. That was pretty expensive, but hopefully that helps people get educated. First abandoned building. Tell us why it was abandoned. I do want to see if they do remodel abandoned buildings in the middle again.
60,000 thanks to that milestone. Everything else is looking kind of alright. I don't know why that garbage trucks are having issues getting down. It doesn't look really because of traffic. It could be just like distance related stuff. Now I sorry for swearing so much. I'm sorry for like I miss stuttered so I'm gonna save <laughs> uh, Main Street doesn't really have traffic issues just yet. Water issues. The trash issues are more complex, and I'm not sure if they're trash issues or traffic issues. Okay, we got two fires going on. Same time on the fire department can handle it. It's a good test. They can already. Garbage cannot. Uh, if you don't know what I'm laughing about, this road's called...